We're gonna show you how to make this really cool card table fort for under $40 in under an hour, and the girls, eight and six, did most of the work, didn't you girls? Yeah. yeah. Arr! Okay, I got my two helpers here for the card table fort, and uh, the first thing we're gonna use, we decided to use felt, so that way the girls could help too, because felt works really well with a hot glue gun. So they're each gonna get their own hot glue gun, and we're gonna attach all the different fabrics and felts together using hot glue gun only. And to use felt, you have to have really sharp scissors. So we made sure we bought some super sharp scissors. Uh, so we went to the fabric store, these are about $300, 200 to $300 to buy at Etsy. And we're gonna make it for under $40. So we decided to use dark brown, uh, four meters to wrap all the way around to make the base. And then we're gonna use the lighter, it's like a tan color for the top. You got it there, girls? Yes, that's the color they picked for the top. So we're gonna cut the square for the top and then start gluing the dark brown all around. To make the door, they picked a beige fabric. There you go. We're going to use the scissors to cut a door for a flap. And we have some black there for windows. See the black? Perfect. And then um, Izzy found some really cool, looks sort of piratey. We're going to make curtains out of that and some flags. She's going to draw the skull. So we're going to get started right now. We're super excited about it, aren't we girls? Yeah, so we're gonna get started with the cutting and the gluing. So it's four meters of the dark brown and a meter of all the other fabrics. So here we go. Okay, so the first part was really simple. We just wrapped it around and you'll see that's about the extra we had. We folded it up at the top just so it's just skimming the floor. Now we're gonna hot glue the top piece on, so they're gonna fold it back, and we're gonna hot glue it all around the edges like that to make the roof, and we're gonna trim off this extra piece. So we probably only needed three and a half meters instead of four, but this top roof was almost perfect with just a little trim that we need there. So we're gonna start hot gluing, and we have the base of our super cute card table fort. So here's the finished uh, product, and I'll just give you a really super quick way. <laughs> we got bored of videoing while we did it, so to cut the door, we just cut a slit up in the brown, and then just along the top with just a bead of glue here, we attached um, the light brown. Then Izzy actually cut out the two circles. It's hard to see, but a lighter, like the brown one, and then a black one to make a porthole, and then she cut out a circle here. Um, for a doorknob. She also made, just with a red marker, cut out this little sign that said, enter if you dare. She just wrote that on herself um, with uh, a red marker. So it was really easy. I cut out this skull. I'm not the best at cutting a skull in felt. It's so easy to cut out felt with, a, with scissors and then just, again, glued it on and then glued it onto this fabric and glued it here to make a little, like, flag. Um, the whole thing is hot glued and the kids have been playing with it for really like all afternoon, all evening and it's held up great. Hot glue works so good. So we just cut again with scissors, cut a little hole here in the side to make a window and then I just pinched and hot glued little pieces of the fabric there um, to, actually the kids did it, to make little cute curtains. On the other side, over here, um, Izzy and Abby cut out these black squares. It's really hard to see here on this video. Sorry about that. And then Abby actually cut out these zigzags and then with a black marker just drew on the felt to make these like wooden shutters that look like they're all broken. We got this idea again off Pinterest. Um, we used an old pop bottle and stuck a piece of pipe in there that we had and then just wrapped the fabric around to make a little sail and then all of this cool stuff we have like we've had for a long time when we have pirate dinners and stuff it's all from the dollar store it come you come in pack with like a sword and a spotting scopey thing and like hats and all this stuff they sell at the dollar store but if you don't have them at your local do dollar store the party store sells them too the thing I love the best about this is you, it just literally lifts off the top. Oscar's going in. It literally lifts off the top and the card table just folds up. So we're probably going to make a ton more. Check out Pinterest card table forts. They're endless. They're made of felt. You don't need to sew. Just a hot glue gun and some felt. Really inexpensive. This was made again in under an hour. 
We're loving, loving, loving it, and we can just fold the card table up. We have them anyways. Put it back, and this folds up really, really small. So if you want to make your kids some <laughs> really neat little Ford ideas with your card table, here's a really good idea. And again, it's so kid-friendly to help make. It was a great fun project, so check it out.